So one of the most frustrating things when it comes to sports betting can be when you are in the midst of a cold streak. Trust me, I've been there. It's not fun. You're having a couple good days in a row, and then bam, you just get slammed with a couple losing days in a row. That is called variance in sports betting, and that is exactly what I'm going to be detailing in this video. I'm going to be talking about the law of large numbers when it comes to sports betting. As you can see, I posted an example of my individual bet tracker. Just one week, it's one week's time. You can see the highs and the lows when it comes to sports betting. One day was up $1,700. Literally the next four days in a row was down even more than that. That is just an unfortunate reality of sports betting and just the nature of the beast. But as long as the plays you are placing have an edge, then I'm confident that it will work out for you in the long run. And that is exactly what I'm going to detail in this video. The long run, meaning the law of large numbers and variance in sports betting and how important these concepts are. But before I get into it, my name is Matt Modi. I am a content producer and betting analyst for oddsjam.com. Would appreciate it for those of you who are watching this video, if you could like the video, subscribe to the Odds Jam YouTube channel, and then of course comment with your feedback. If you want to find me on the social medias, you can at my Twitter handle that has flashed on the screen here, at Jedi Modi, and we can get right into it. So when I reference having an edge in sports betting, I mean you're placing a bet, you're placing some sort of wager with a mathematical profitability associated with that. The perfect example that I like to use is actually regarding a coin flip. So when you flip a coin, you assume that there's 50% chance heads, 50% chance tails. It's common wisdom. But let's pretend that I am flipping a coin that is actually 55% weighted towards heads and 45% towards tails. Well, you're going to bet on heads every single time, every single time that makes the most sense because you know it's going to land on heads 55% of the time. But if you're flipping that coin 100 times, you're going to be wrong 45 times. And an unfortunate reality of that is it might be wrong seven times in a row before you go on a hot streak and get heads eight times in a row, 10 times in a row. But I figured the easiest way to talk about this would be to actually show you. So I'm going to share my screen and talk to you about the law of large numbers variance when it comes to sports betting with an edge. So right off the bat, I have this Excel spreadsheet talking about the exact scenario of a coin flip. So right now we're flipping a coin that is not weighted. It's 50% heads, 50% tails. So as you can see in the math here on the left, there's a 25% chance if you flip that coin twice, it's going to land on heads both times. There is a 50% chance that you're going to get heads once and tails once. And there is a 25% chance that you're going to get tails twice and heads zero times. But what happens if I change these numbers to 55% and 45%? Well, that changes things dramatically. It goes from 25% to 30% chance it lands on heads both times. Roughly a 49.5% chance that it's heads once, tails once. And only a 20% chance that it's tails both times. So if you think about this, if you flip the coin both times, the odds are in your favor that it will at least land on heads at least one time. There is roughly an 80% chance that it'll land on heads at least one time. But there is still this 20.25% chance that you lose both your bets and it lands on tails both times. Now, does that mean that heads was actually the wrong bet and that you should have bet on tails? No, it just means that the numbers didn't work for you. So if you think about this from a sports betting perspective, if you're only betting two plays a night, and let's pretend you have this same exact edge when positive expected value betting. Let's pretend you are betting on a play that has a 55% chance of hitting and the odds you're placing the bet at is plus 100, which dictates 50-50. That's a big edge. That is a very huge edge that will be profitable in the long run. But if you're only placing two bets a night, well, there's a 20% chance that you will have lost both of your bets and that will have been incredibly frustrating. But what happens if we increase these numbers? What happens if we go from two bets to 10 bets, to 15 bets, to 100, to 250? 
Well, for that, you need a little bit of a more complicated system, which is exactly what we have on the screen here. It's a binomial probability calculator. You don't need to know the system behind it. All you need to know is that we're gonna be working through the exact scenario of a 55% win percentage when we only need to win half the time. So probability of success on a trial, 0.55, meaning 55. Number of trials, so we just looked at two. Let's just up this to 10. And let's say we wanted to land on exactly half. And let's just calculate how many times it'll land exactly on heads five times out of 50, right? So we click calculate. So there's a 23% chance it lands on heads exactly five times. There is roughly a 26% chance it lands on heads less than five times, basically, basically saying there's a 26% chance that you will lose money after 10 coin flips. And there is a 50% chance that it lands on heads more than five times, 50.44. So even after 10 trials, there's still a 26% chance that you will be losing money after 10 flips. So even if we go to 10 coin flips, that's still not really enough, even in one night, to really get a large enough sample size to make yourself feel comfortable. We like to tell people like 250, but in reality, 500 bets with an edge where the large sample size, the law of large numbers will start to work out in your favor. And it is becoming less and less likely that you are down money with an edge. So we flipped it 10 times. Let's increase this to 250. So if you remember, there is roughly a 26% chance after 10 flips that we are down after flipping the coin 10 times. So let's see what 250 looks like. Again, we wanna make sure that the number of successes is 50%. So after that, there is only a 5% chance that you are down after 250 flips of the coin, assuming the coin is gonna land on heads 55% of the time. Now that's a lot easier to work with. Now it's obviously not a guarantee. There's never a guarantee, but going from 10 flips and a roughly 26% chance of being down to a lot more flips to only a 5% chance of being down, that's a lot easier to comprehend. Now, the unfortunate reality is for those of you that have this exact scenario, 5% of you are like, what the heck's going on? I'm doing something wrong. I'm losing money. But the reality is that is unfortunately only 5% of you, but there's that other 95% that have at least broken even, and there is roughly a 93% chance that you are up. So not only broken even, but 93.6% chance that you are actually profitable after 250 flips of the coin. Now, again, that is a lot easier to comprehend. So I like to tell people if they're having a couple down days using OddsJam, my first question is, okay, how many bets have you placed? And you know, I have a couple people say, you know, I've placed three bets and I'm down. I've placed 10 bets and I'm down. And I tell them that's just unfortunately not enough time to really capture the edge and the value that Odds Jam provides. So one of my first pieces of advice that I give people is if let's pretend you only have $100 on a night to play with. I would much, much rather you place 20 bets at $5 per bet than 10 bets at $10 or even like two bets at $50. The more bets, the merrier because of this exact scenario. So if there's someone like you out there who are struggling, but with a smaller sample size, I would recommend upping the number of bets you make per day and lowering the amount you bet per day. And we can keep going if we wanna up this to 500. So we're flipping the coin 500 times and we just wanna land on this 250 times, on heads 250 times, half the time. So now we're looking at, there's only a 1% chance that you are down after 500 flips of the coin. Again, assuming the 55% win rate, assuming the 50% odds that you are getting. Only 1% chance after 500 bets. That's a lot better. That is much, much easier to comprehend. And there's roughly a 98.8% of you that are up. You're not even breaking even. You are legitimately up after this scenario. So I could keep going, I could do a thousand, I could do 2000, but you kind of start to understand why placing more and more bets is more important and why placing more bets for less money is much better in the long run than placing less bets for more money. You're giving yourself more opportunities for the law of large numbers to work in your favor 
the more that you are placing. So hopefully this video made sense. Hopefully it is helping you in your betting strategy to kind of understand, okay, if you are struggling with the lower sample size, with the lower amount of bets placed, then maybe you should lower the amount of money you place per individual bet, but up the amount of bets that you're placing. If you do that and you give yourself a large enough sample size, I'm confident that you will be up in the long run. But regardless, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. You can also email me, matthew at oddsjam.com. You can also hit me up the same Twitter handle at Jedi Modi. And that's going to be it. So again, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff helps me out a ton. And I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.